Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the President, Vice President, and First Lady continued to call for action to reduce gun violence, while the President announced the fiscal year 2014 budget conferred the Medal of Honor, met with UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, and held an Easter prayer breakfast. That's April 5th to April 11th, or We Choose Love. On Friday, rounding out that week's Easter celebrations, the President and Vice President hosted faith leaders from across the country at their fourth annual prayer breakfast in the East Room of the White House. On Monday, the President traveled to the University of Hartford, where he assured Newtown families of his commitment to reducing gun violence. He was introduced by Nicole Hockley, who lost her son in the 1214 shootings. And one thing she said struck me. She said, every night I beg for him to come to me in my dreams so that I can see him again. And during the day, I just focus on what I need to do to honor him and make change. If Nicole can summon the courage to do that, how can the rest of us do any less? We are as determined as ever to do what must be done. In fact, I'm here to ask you to help me show that we can get it done. We're not forgetting. A group of families of the 1214 victims then boarded Air Force One with the president to travel back to Washington, D.C where they would visit with congressional leaders about the common sense measures that they should support to reduce gun violence in America. On Tuesday morning, a group of students from across the country came to the White House for a workshop called Soulsville, USA, the history of Memphis Soul, with some of the performers who then warmed up for that night's concert. (laughs) Meanwhile, in the West Wing, the president held a meeting with a diverse group of leaders from the Faith-Based Advisory Council on Trafficking. We want the faith community to be involved in, in, a, in a significant way. When we walked in in July, none of us really were aware that this was such a major issue in our country. We knew that it existed obviously around the world, but how it impacted our congregations, our organizations, our communities. We'll go ahead and pull Yeah, thank you. The president then met with some of his staff and cabinet to discuss ways to keep moving forward on creating middle-class jobs and strengthening the economy. Meanwhile, the Vice President spoke alongside Attorney General Eric Holder in the South Court Auditorium and continued to push Congress to pass common sense measures to reduce gun violence. Now it's time for every man and woman in the Senate to stand up and say, yay or nay, I'm for or I'm against. It's time for them to say what they think should or should not be done to diminish the possibility of another Sandy Hook. On Wednesday, the First Lady traveled to Chicago to speak at a forum organized by Mayor Rahm Emanuel to discuss efforts to reduce violence and keep our children safe. I think my husband put it best when he spoke to the people of Newtown, Connecticut back in December. This is a quote. This is our first task, caring for our children. It's our first job. If we don't get that right, we don't get anything right. That's how, as a society, we will be judged. And by that measure, can we truly say as a nation that we're meeting our obligations? Later, she met with a small group of students and counselors at Harper High School to hear firsthand about their experiences at their public school, one that has been profoundly affected by violence. 29 current or former students have been shot in just the past year. I grew up in South Shore, went to public schools here, my parents, working class folks, and one of the reasons why I like to talk to kids, especially from my city, uh, is to make sure you all know that there isn't much distance between me and you. And I want to make sure you guys are on track and really understand that the best thing you can do for yourself in life is to really be serious about your education. That is truly the ticket in this country to get where you need to go. Meanwhile, back at the White House, the president officially released his budget for fiscal year 2014, alongside acting OMB director Jeff Zients. They moved out to the Rose Garden for the first official outdoor event of this splendid spring season, where the president spoke on the budget's central role in strengthening our economy and creating jobs. If anyone thinks I'll finish the job of deficit reduction on the backs of middle-class families or through spending cuts alone, 
that actually hurt our economy short term, they should think again. He then sat down with Peter Moore of the International Committee of the Red Cross and his team in the Roosevelt Room. On Thursday, the president met with CEOs from the Financial Services Forum in the Roosevelt Room, then had a conference call with mayors and business leaders on summer jobs. Some of it just has to do with young people having a sense of opportunity and needing somebody to give them that first window into the workplace and opportunity and the skill sets that they need. So th this is an economic development agenda uh, as well as simply being the right thing to do. He then conferred the Medal of Honor posthumously to Father Emile Capon. Called as shepherd in combat boots, Father Capon was a young priest and an army chaplain who served bravely and died in the Korean War. This is the valor we honor today. An American soldier who didn't fire a gun, but who wielded the mightiest weapon of all, a love for his brothers so pure that he was willing to die so that they might live. At the end of the day, the president met with UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to discuss ways to continue to partner with the United Nations to ensure a more prosperous, secure, and just future for the world. To find out more information on any of these spring has sprung topics, or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. Hi! I guess somebody made a fuss over me. You know? <laughs> Stay right here.